Hi, I'm Sean King with Starting Point Photography, your website, startingpointphotography.com. Thanks very much to the nice folks at Olympus. That's olympusamerica.com or olympuscanada.com. They are sending me off tomorrow to the World Ski and Snowboard Festival up in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. If you've never had a chance to go there, if you're a skier, Whistler is the location in North America to go. So I'm really excited to go back to Whistler. I used to go on a fairly regular basis in college. Haven't been there in 20 years, so I'm looking forward to going. So ahead of the actual event, I asked the nice folks at, at uh, Olympus to, as I've said in my photography class, you have to learn how to use your camera in order to take good pictures. And I'm worried with this press event that they would just hand me a camera and I wouldn't take good pictures. So I asked them to please, if they would be so kind, just to send me a couple examples of their cameras that I might be able to play around with ahead of time. Well, today, this is what showed up from the nice people at Pure Later. Olympus doesn't mess around. <laughs> when they want to send you gear, they send you gear. And there's a big old bag that all this stuff gets stuffed into, too. I mean, seriously, look, I'll show you. Here's the bag. This is the bag. This is a bag of camera stuff. It's massive. It's kind of cool. It's got this little camera ring on the front of it. The, the, the manual actually says, don't attach a lens here. So in, inside the box, there was the, the, the cameras I asked for. One of them, I've said many, many times, I absolutely love the Olympus Stylus Tough line of cameras. Uh, this one is the... Dun, 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 you didn't even see it was there, did you? Ha! You didn't even know I had it in my pocket. This little, cute, Stylus Tough TG850. Just a little point-and-shoot camera. I love Olympus point-and-shoot cameras. This thing is shockproof to seven feet so i can drop it off the top of my head and it won't break this thing is waterproof not water resistant waterproof to 10 meters or 33 feet now i'm charging the batteries up i just got this stuff minutes ago so i'm still charging the batteries up I haven't taken any pictures but it's a nice it's a typical point and shoot it's the same form factor you used to there's the the on button up here there's a screen in the back but the neat thing i found out very quickly the screen pops out so you can take pictures at different kinds of angles. But wait, there's more. It pops out to there. So you can take pictures low down. I tell people in the photography class, change your angle. But it's tough sometimes to get dog eye view cam uh, camera shots. So you can do that with this one. But it also does that, which is kind of cool. If you're into, I don't know, I guess selfies. You could take selfie pictures with this thing. So that's kind of neat. I like this. I'm going to enjoy using this. These are these stylus tough cameras are great for what I call adverse weather conditions. You know, I'm going up in a mountain. There's going to be snow. It could be cold. It might be rainy. I'm not taking my iPhone out in those conditions. I'm not taking my professional DSLR out in those conditions unless I'm getting paid for it. But this thing, I'll throw this in the snow. I'll take video with it. I'll dunk it under water, whatever I need to do. These are great cameras. If you have a chance, if you, I always tell folks that if you have someone who is hard on their cameras, these little stylus tough line, and this one, this is the TG850, I think they're coming up with the TG3 in June, are great cameras for those kind of people who are, who are hard on gear. So what else is in the bag? Well, let me show you. Open the bag up, and inside is... The surprisingly comfortable, and I say that, now this is what's called a micro, sorry, take that back. This is what's called a four-thirds camera, and I'm going to get someone at Olympus to define what four-thirds means, because to me it means one and one-third. So it's a, it's not a DSLR. It's not a point-and-shoot. It's a mirrorless camera. It's in between the two form factors and in between the two technologies. And they're very interesting for a number of reasons. This one is the Olympus, I get the name right, the Olympus OM-D EM-1 camera. And I'll show you the, the Olympus website that's got this. All this information is up on the Olympus website. These are really interesting cameras. Uh, there's a whole market for these, what, what are called mirrorless cameras. Olympus and Fuji and Panasonic the mid-tier guys, the guys behind Canon and Nikon, are really into these things. They make some very good cameras in this form factor. The first thing I was surprised about was that it feels fairly comfortable in my hand. I've got big hands. One thing that I always tell students is make sure you touch the camera 
that you're going to buy because you want to know that the buttons are where you expect them to be, that the camera feels good. And I'm surprised how I don't generally don't like small form vector cameras because my fingers get all cramped up. But I think this one is kind of neat because of the way my hand sort of naturally falls underneath the camera grip and my, my finger falls there. It'll be interesting to shoot with this to see how comfortable all this will be after a day of shooting. This one also has the very neat flip-out screen on the back, but this flips out a little differently. You notice how it comes out from the bottom. It doesn't do the selfie thing, but it, all, but it will tilt in a number of directions and lock in a couple other directions. These are great for, you know, want to get a crowd shot, you raise it above your head, and you can look into the viewfinder. So it's a, it's a nice form factor, a nice camera. It's gotten some good reviews. I think it's got like an 80% review on uh, DP Review and other, other such websites. So the next thing Olympus did was they went whole hog. They didn't just send me a couple of cameras. They sent me a lens. This lens is the 75mm 1.8 f-stop on this lens. This is probably a lens that I'll, sh I'll use for shooting uh, uh, portraits. This is a good form factor, a good uh, size for portrait photography. Next up, there is, yes, that's right, there's two lenses in here. This is the bigger, it feels heftier. Uh, this is the 12 to 40 millimeter f 2.8. So this one is probably at 12 to 40. This is a landscape lens. This is the lens I'll use for getting pictures of the whole mountain up there in Whistler. But wait, there's more. There's another one in here. This is the 9 to 18 millimeter f4 to 5.6. This is a very, very wide angle lens. I've never shot with a lens that is this wide angle, 9 to 18. So I'm going to be interested to see what kind of pictures I can get out of the OMD EM1 with that lens. Oops, sorry, boo boo. And finally is the 14 to 150 millimeter, 14 wide angle, 150 zoom. So this is going to be the, and it's an F4 to 5.6. This is going to be the all purpose daylight shooting lens that I'll probably have on the camera most of the time I'm outdoors taking pictures of all the things that are going on up there at Whistler. I'm really looking forward to this. Thanks very much to the nice folks at Olympus, in particular Jennifer Colucci, for arranging this for me. I'll be up there all day on Saturday and all day on Sunday. So if you'd like, please check me out on the website at startingpointphotography.com or on my Twitter feed, Sean King, so at Sean King, and you'll see hopefully a bunch of the pictures I'll be taking. And then late Sunday, early Monday, you'll be able to see in the website, startingpointphotography.com, a whole raft of pictures that I'm going to be taking. One of the things I'm going to be doing is comparing and contrasting. So I'll be comparing and contrasting four different cameras, my iPhone, the Olympus point and shoot, the Olympus mirrorless camera, and my Nikon D600. And part of it's going to be just to show you guys, you can take good pictures with any camera. That's a range all the way from a mid range point and shoot to a high end iPhone, to a mid range mirrorless camera, to a professional DSLR camera. It's going to be carrying around a lot of gear, but I'm doing it just for you guys. So until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Sean King. This is Starting Point Photography. See ya!